has the Secret Service been transparent with this committee? Yes. Would you say the fact that we had to issue a subpoena to get you to show up today as being transparent, yes or no? I have always been yes eager to Yes or no, you didn't want to answer the, the question. Committee. We had to issue a subpoena to get you to show up today. That is not transparent, by the way. You stated earlier, Secret Service is not political. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, would you say leaking your opening statement to Punchbowl News, Politico's playbook, and Washington Post several hours before you sent it to this committee as being political, yes or no? I have no idea how my statement got out. <sighs> well, that's bullshit. Hey guys, my name is Devory Darkins. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, listen, they are just tearing up the Secret Service Director, Kimberly Cheadle. I mean, she just basically showed up and she has no answers. I already did a video on this, but I had to do another video because this, she, I'd call her whatever you want, but I would probably say she's probably the most incompetent Secret Service Director there has been in history. A lot of people have other things to blame it on. I just think it's a leadership failure all around. And I want to see, I want to show you guys what happens when, you know, the both sides are just so fed up with people who make the government look bad. And when the Secret Service fails to protect a former president, it makes everybody look bad. Check out how all of this went down and how crazy it got. But before I play it, you guys already know what to do. Like, share and subscribe. Now let's play the video. Would you say the fact that we had to issue a subpoena to get you to show up today as being transparent, yes or no? I have always been yes eager to or no. You didn't want to answer the, the question. Committee. We had to issue a subpoena to get you to show up today. That is not transparent, by the way. You stated earlier, Secret Service is not political. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Would you say leaking your opening statement to Punchbowl News? Politico's playbook and Washington Post several hours before you sent it to this committee as being political, yes or no? I have no idea how my statement got out. <sighs> well. Right. So you created a statement and, you know, it got legs and just made its way into the press. <laughs> Come on, man. That's bullshit. So, Mr. Chairman. Oh. I would like to ask unanimous consent to enter into the record articles by Punchbowl News, Political Playbook, Washington Post, all uh, done at 5.24 a.m., 6.12 a.m., 6.34 a.m., uh, a solid three to four hours before this committee got your statement. Without objection to ordered. Okay. So she brought the receipts, right? So the she's alleging that the Secret Service Director purposely leaked the statement that she was going to make today. Um, why? Why would she do that? I have no idea. I don't find any common sense in all of that. Uh, but let's see what she ends up saying. Is the Secret Service fully cooperating with our committee? Yes. Okay. You say you're fully cooperating with this committee. Um, on July 15th, this committee sent you a list of demands of information that we wanted. Has the Secret Service provided this committee a complete list of all law enforcement personnel that were there that day? Have you done that? Have you provided a list to the Oversight Committee? Yes I, or no? I will have to get back to you on that. <laughs> that is a no. I will have to get back to you on that. Yeah, this is, this is what we're dealing with, right? This is the Secret Service Director, and these are people who are in Congress, right? Like the person who will who has the authority to truly punish her is people in Congress because they can impeach anybody. So I, I find it funny how defiant she is. Have you provided all audio and video recordings in your possession to this committee as we asked on July 15th? Yes or no? I would have to get back to you. That is a no. You're full of shit today. You're just being completely dishonest. Mr. Mr. Chairman, completely dishonest. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, I want to. Mr. Ch I'm Come on. We have to maintain decorum in this committee, any, no matter how upset we get. Have you provided any and all memos to this committee that we've asked you on July 15th? Have you provided all memorandums within the Secret Service? I would have to get back to you on that. That is a no. You are being dishonest or lying. Like, I, I just, you're being dishonest here with this committee. These are important questions that the American people want answers to, and you're just, you're just dodging and, and talking around it in generalities. 
and we had to subpoena you to be here and you won't even answer the questions. We have asked you repeatedly to answer our questions. This isn't hard. Th these are not hard questions. Um, have you provided us all communication? Yeah, it's, it's a dog and pony show, right? Uh, delay, 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 deny, deny, deny. Um, and that's what she's doing. Now, you have to understand, uh, the Secret Service director is appointed by the president of the United States. She was President Biden's uh, Secret Service. She was on his detail when he was the vice president. OK, so she is protected. OK, the only person that is going to be able to fire her is either President Biden or Mayorkas, who's her boss, the Homeland Security uh, secretary. Um, and so he's not going to obviously do that. Uh, so she's pretty much hiding behind uh, this protection that, you know, she's her job isn't really going to be in jeopardy. In fact, if you really want to hear her response to her job, let's take a look at this. Accountability. The failure was human. That doesn't mean they're bad people. It means they failed that day. And a president was almost a former president was almost assassinated. OK, are you prepared to fire the human failure on the ground? Yes or no? When you have the names of where those failures were, they're people. It's not like a piece of technology failed. It was people who failed that day. Are you prepared to fire them? Hmm. I don't have an answer as to whether. It well, then how people. can there be accountability if you're not prepared to fire someone? And the reason why your name is going to be the person who's held accountable, the reason why members in this committee are calling for resignation and I join in that or for the president to fire you is because you're saying there's going to be accountability, but you can't commit that people are going to get fired. Let me ask this question a different way. If Trump had been assassinated that day, if the gunman had succeeded, OK, would you have come and tendered your resignation? I would still be sitting here because I would want to ensure the integrity of the investigation. Totally that understand that's a fair answer that you would have set up that process. But would you have had the honor to come in front of the committee and say a president was assassinated, former president was assassinated on my watch. There should be new leadership. I think that I have admitted that there was. No, no, that's what I'm asking. Would you have failure. tendered your resignation if he had been killed? That occurred on my watch and I am accountable for that. OK, but would you have tendered your. Just disgusting. This is what I'm saying. It's it's obviously a dog and pony show. She's not going to answer any questions. We already went through this already. Um, I'll tell you right now, this is probably the one thing that upsets people who serve in the military when they see their politicians or elected officials acting like this, is that we know that if I was a commander and I was in charge of soldiers and I got a DUI, oh, I would at least be on some type of uh, disciplinary action a possible suspension, if not being relieved of my duty. And if a soldier died in my care and it was due to negligence, yeah, I'd be done. But see, the standard that they have for the people at the top, right, in politics is different for the people who are just everyday Joes, right? The, the standards are different. And up there, it's not about right or wrong. It's about what party are you affiliated with? Who do you have loyalty to right and that drives the decision making right now they're focused on uh which they successfully did getting biden to dry out and getting kamala harris to take his place they don't, they don't really care what's going on with her right now that's not really a concern they're concerned on trying to win this election right now that's what the democrats are really concerned about so anyways um this is what we're dealing with and so you got to be very careful of what you listen to, especially when it comes to the news or social media, because a lot of people are out there just straight up lying, refusing to be honest with you guys. And this is an example of where it's coming from. She's affiliated with the Democrat Party. She was on the detail of Vice President Biden, right, when he was a VP. Now that he's president, he's the one that appointed her. She's not going to do anything to hold herself accountable or do right by the people at that rally, especially the gentleman that lost his life, let alone doing anything right by President Trump. So this is my mindset on it. Uh, I think she's crazy. She's ludicrous. Um, I'm glad um, I'm not working for her. I wouldn't want to. And uh, my heart goes out to people that have been impacted by her 
negligence. But hey, I want to hear from you guys. What do you think about this? What do you think about her responses? And, uh, you know, Nancy Mays, Mays is, uh, you know, getting in on her really good there. So answer this and more in the comment section below. I'll see you guys in the next video.